Hello viewers, this is IT system admin a complete troubleshooting solution for you. Today in this tutorial I am going to show you how to fix ntoskrnl.exe uses high CPU and memory on your Windows 11 computer. Sometimes it becomes very important for you so don't forget to watch full video. Microsoft Windows has a vital process called Windows NT Operating System Kernel Executable, which is often known as the NTOSKRNL.exe. The connection between the installed software and the connected hardware is made by the kernel. The moment you switch your PC on the connected hardware such as the CPU gets a message instructing it to perform the required task by the ntoskrnl.exe process. Unfortunately, there is not a clear answer as to why ntoskrnl.exe can cause high CPU and memory usage in your computer. It may become for high load on your PC that cannot process by kernel or it can be occurred by viruses, malicious programs, malwares and etc. After upgrading your Windows 11 system, you may face issue like ntoskrnl.exe high CPU and memory uses and you need to disable superface service you can clean up image or restore health and by using registry edit and couple of other methods to fix NTOS KRNL.exe high CPU and memory uses. Now I am going to show you how to fix this issue. Open your browser and I am copying a link. I will give this link in description you can use this link from there <clears throat> now in search bar paste your paste your link now hit enter just copy now minimize the browser in search type notepad open notepad and paste here now click on file click on save as you can give any name i am giving the name is fix dot r e g dot r e g is must and that save as type will be all files okay remember the dot r e g you can give any name but dot r e g is must okay now click on i am saving it in desktop and now click on save okay close the notepad look 
this is your fix registry key now open it right click and click on open now click on yes click on yes again click on yes again and ok now you will you need to restart your computer click on start menu click on power button and then click on restart now I am logging to my computer After restarting your computer, hope your problem has been solved. This is all for today. Hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Keep watching for next tutorial. Thank you very much.